Hello everyone, Scott here from Pillow Partners and for the last few months I've been making a prediction about the state of the service accommodation market, namely the management side of this. And that prediction was that at least 75% of existing SA managing agents will be leaving the market in 2024. I think what we have in the market is a massive, massive oversupply of SA managing agents and I think that will be rebalanced in 2024. I think it's going to be a really, really tough year for agents and 75%, my opinion, will be gone. Now, let me tell you why they're going to be going, the reasons behind it, and what's going to be happening to those who are left in the market. So 75% will leave. What happens to the 25% that are left? I think 20% are going to struggle. So if there's 25% left, I think the majority of them are just going to be there. They're going to make money. They're going to not grow too massively. They're just going to have a good year, a solid year with a little bit of growth. I think the 5% of the 100 that are here this year, I think 5% of agents are going to have a fantastic year. These are going to be the bigger guys, people with funding behind them, lots of traction, bigger teams. And I think they're just going to mop up everything else that is happening in the market. But I definitely stand by my figure of 75%. So why? Why are three quarters of agents going to exit the market? Well, the number one reason for this is definitely going to be cash flow. Like any business, um, post lockdown has given people the opportunity that anybody could have made money and serviced accommodation with the staycation boom after lockdown. 2023 has been rebalancing that quite a fair bit. Um, not going to go into the SA market, this is the SA managing agents, but the SA market is going to drive this. And I think <sighs> a lot of the agents currently now are just going to run out of money. It's not going to be worth it, not enough profit. And again, that business could go bust, leaving people owed a lot of money. I've, had, I've seen it happening. It's already happened. It is happening. So it's not an unfair prediction. I'm not being super intuitive or intelligent here. This is happening. Agents are going out of business every week. And this year, I think there's been one agent a day. Every second person's now a managing agent. They're doing a little bit of um, rent to rent, their SA mentors, and then they set up management companies. And it seems easy on the outset. I think I've been doing property management for 21 years, it's not easy. Um, and a lot of marketing behind it. The marketing side to get clients is easy, but the management side um, isn't as easy. So I think cash flow is gonna be the biggest um, determinant of people exiting the market. The next thing is not been enough profit in it, um, unless you're scaling up to a big degree. So 75% of the agents are gonna have less than 50 properties. Lots of them have around about 25 properties. Um, and there just isn't the, the, there isn't the profit in this at that level. You do need to scale up. If you're a one-man band and you're doing it as a side project while you're doing mentoring and your own buy-to-lets or your own SA, then fine, it's a little side income. Um, but these guys are going to find it hard to survive. Even if they make it 2024, um, little side projects where it's not your main business, other people are going to start leapfrogging you. So if you're not scaling up and you're not doing as well as other companies, there's not enough profit. Guys, I see people with businesses, not SA, they'd be better getting a job um, in the tills and middle. They'd make much more money and work less than being an entrepreneur. So people do very, very well in business, but lots of people there have been struggling since I've been in business. They'd be better going and taking a job in middle. And for the profit in SA, when you're managing other people's units, um, if the profit's not there, people will exit. The next thing he does is a lot of work for that profit. I think we've got 50 plus people on the team. I think we've got 39 employees. Um, so there's lots of people, meaning I don't need to do all of the work, but the smaller boutique or even accidental SA management companies are going to have a lot of work, a lot of running about. They're going to be on their phone, guys. I was there when I started as an emergency phone when I started Pillow for years on Christmas Day, taking calls to Boom.com and guests that couldn't open doors with keys and problem solving. If you're in that market, you know. And there's a lot of work and a lot of stress and emotions and intensity in that for not a massive amount of work. You can go and do lots of other things that would make you more money than having an SA management company. So people will exit thinking, the return on my efforts here, there's other things that we could do. The next big thing, uh, I want you guys to go away and look at this and see is most of the new management companies that have popped up in the last year or this year 
and marketers, the smart marketers and guys are better at marketing themselves than I am. I hold my hands up to that, again, full code kudos. The marketing is very slick, um, but they're not property managers, they're not even real entrepreneurs. And it's not a criticism, they're amazing marketers, but the, the marketing for, to get units, it's not a management, it's not a business, not operations, not customer service, it's a marketing system and they're really, really slick marketers. Not just for SA, but any industry, there's people that are marketers out there and they're very good at it and they have mentors that teach them marketing, but not necessarily the property management side. So I think these people will just move on to the next thing. And that leads me to the final point of why people will exit. And that is the next thing, the next big thing. Um, 50 people that I know that, that have got SA management companies, at least 50, um, started out in the staycation, but, but they did something else before. They would do property sourcing, um, it was cryptocurrency they were involved in. Um, so my suspicion is the next thing these guys are gonna go to is SA, um, AI consultants. So it isn't necessarily that they're service accommodation experts, it's they're good marketers and they'll go on a thing. It was crypto, it was something, it was rent to rent, and now rent to rent, then they're SA mentors, then it's SA management. Next year, my point is, these people will be AI consultants, and then after that, it will be something else, and it's not a criticism. But when I'm talking about having been in the industry for 20 years and want to be here for another 20 years, I see the patterns, I see the trends, and, uh, and again, it's not a criticism that 75% of people will exit the market. Businesses have shelf life, people give stuff. It's not a bad thing to fail. Um, in the UK, it's seen as a bad thing, it's seen as negative. Being to America four times, they love failure. In fact, Americans are much more likely to invest in your business and back you as a second time founder. If you're a first time founder, when I went over and hadn't necessarily failed, they're like, oh, we'll come back when you've fucked your business up and done your second venture because you've learned the lessons. So failure's not a bad thing. People exiting markets are not a bad thing. Because that's why we've changed our strategy uh, a little. We have always been called Pillow Partners. It's always stronger together. We want to partner with local companies, but rather than next year banging 50 franchisees in areas to compete with companies, based on the, the, the things we've just said, we would love to work with selected agents. We can't work with everyone, like we say, they're just marketers, they're in it for a buck. There are some people are just doing that, they'll move on to AI consultants. Some people are gonna leave their businesses with lots of debt and money owed. These aren't the people we will work with, but they're genuine people there that we think, if you partner with us, you'll make more money, you'll have lower break-even points, you'll have less stress, more time off, you'll have the back end of the team, you'll have a much, much better business, delivering a much better service, making more money, all the benefits and kind of none of the negatives. So we would love to work with at least 25 of these people. We still want franchises, it's our business model. We want to give people businesses from fresh, but I think we can select 25 amazing entrepreneurs to join Pillow. If this is something you would want to be interested in, please get in touch. Joining forces stronger together, coming together to provide a better service for owners and guests. I think we've got 14 people in our customer service team. They're answering guest calls, 24-7 uh, people working through the night. We've got a marketing team here, um, one doing ads, uh, Grace doing social media, Robbie doing videography, the creative, Miles doing SEO. These guys are here. Um, and for you guys to get benefit, the break-even cost could be 100 grand a month for Pillow to run the business, to deliver that service to hosts and guests. And you can get that, you can leverage all that. You can go from having think what your current costs are, your break-even point, if you to lose all your owners, how many new owners would you get to make money, to make profit every single month? Well, that's gonna go to zero, because we pay for everything. So, I genuinely think coming together, and rather than us launching in an area to compete against existing agents, we can partner with one of the best ones in the area, give them a much better, we're not even gonna say what life balance, a life work balance, and we can join forces, earn more money, get more time off, be part of an amazing family, plug our social impact side in as well. And again, rather than businesses failing um, and maybe own clients' money and you know people been 
upset about that, or they could join forces with Pillow and then make that business even stronger. So that's our proposition. That's what we want to do. We're changing the franchise model. We will take 25 franchisees with new areas and to build those areas from scratch. But if we can find 25 existing SA managing agents that would actually like and improve their standard of life, don't need to be exiting the market or going bust, we just want 25 of the best current SA management companies to join us throughout 2024.